Hi, I'm Jack, and I like video games. And how are you doing this lovely evening? It's 8.21 p.m. Central Standard Time here on Tuesday, January 24th, 2023. Good evening, everyone. What is up? How are y'all doing? Hope you had yourself a lovely day. Hope you had yourself a good evening. But I am here. Why, why did I say but? And I am here. Because not but. It's not like I, I, but, but makes it sound like I'm doing it in in response to you having a good evening. Like, you had a good evening, but now you gotta watch me. That's great. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm playing Satisfactory again. I've been playing a little bit. I haven't done a whole lot of work since the last time you guys watched me. Uh, you can check out all my archives, youtube.com slash Jack Patillo. There's a... over there. There's the... the that's, that's It says Twitch right now, but that rotates around to having my... Anyway, youtube.com slash Jack Patillo. You can go there and see my, my archives of all the previous episodes I've done. Um, I've done a little bit of building. Um, in between episodes, last time we played, we did circuit boards, I think. I think that was the, um, that was the right thing. Wait, is it, wait, what? Jack arrives exactly when he says, what, what, what are you saying? What are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Does the chair look a little bit, wee bit lower? Yeah, my camera. This, I've got a, I've got a new chair. I've got one of the, uh, the, um, Herman Miller Vanguards, I think is what it is. It's the Logitech Vanguard chair. Uh, my friends at Logitech sent it to me, as well as this microphone, which I love the mic and I love the chair. I'm still kind of getting used to it. Still, like, it's got a little sway to it. Still getting a little bit used to it, but that's okay. Anyway, um, yeah, the last time we played, we built a circuit board factory, I think, and some other stuff. And I started messing around with trains a little bit, and I, I decided I really want to kind of figure out how trains work. So I've been spending a long time um, off, off camera um, prepping train stuff. So I think we're going to work on that tonight. Uh, check out I'm Kibitz. Oh, please. I've, I've watched I'm Kibitz. I watch all of them. I've, I've been watching Darren plays game or what Darren plays all the time. There's so many different things I've been watching as far as Satisfactory goes. I, I will. I love all of them. They're all really, really impressive. What Ellie? What, what happened? Ellie was jumping on the desk and then she freaked out and ran away. But anyway, thank you very much. Hey, uh, Cry uh, Chrysos the Hero. Been a while since I watched stream. You're looking good, Beardo. Appreciate that. But, um, but yeah, so today we're going to work on train stuff. I think my initial sort of starting area, here's the deal. I don't know if I want to make that my sort of home base forever. Like, I don't know if that, I want that area to kind of be my my always go-to area or if I want to ex move kind of my normal area, my sort of main area somewhere else. Uh, I think for now, maybe we'll keep it all there. But what I want to do is well, let's get into it. Let's just, let's just dive into it. Hang on. Where, where's my where's my button to do things? OK, here we go. We're in satisfactory. So uh, here is this is kind of my my starter area. This is where I began the game, like this whole area here. My first coals up there. There's my space elevator and everything. Here's my initial train station here. So that's my first train kind of, you know, figuring it out, doing everything like that. My home base train. Um, well, I, uh, I made some blueprints and I made a little train, uh, dual blueprint, like two train track blueprint thing. And I've kind of figured it out. So you can see here, um, I went ahead after a lot of sort of mucking about and I am, uh, I'm now expanding my train lines. I'm basically swapping out the old train lines for a dual train track. The initial one is still there. So here's the one that's still there. Uh, one thing about this thing, I'm I'm gonna kill this because it's on a diagonal. I built this train station on a diagonal because I thought I'd be cool. I thought it'd be smart. Horrible idea. Horrible, horrible idea. Because uh, this train station's on a diagonal, but everything else is on the grid. So uh, getting rid of that. So I've rebuilt this train track up top. So basically, am I gonna make this? Am I gonna make this? Ooh, it's close. Uh, so this train track here, I'm getting rid of, and I'm gonna swap it over to this line here. Um, also, I had the train, you see the old line goes down and then into this diagonal and then back up over there. So I just went ahead and got rid of that whole downslope thing. Also, uh, this train line is on the world grid. I also managed to split right in between my two Christmas factories, which are now got a little, little tight right here. And that's okay. And that's okay. Don't mind that. I did knock out a wall, but that's all right. Um, anyway, so I've basically reworked my old see i haven't i haven't completed it obviously here's here's where the the new lines begin and the old this is where the old line goes down and then this is where it will go when i'm ready to move it and see here like that 
So, I made this little blueprint here, or some nifty little kind of like thing underneath, and it has, you know, looks looks pretty. And also uh, underneath here, um, I made, just in case, I went ahead and put down a hanging conveyor belt um, line. So, it, like, it's part of the blueprint. So, if we ever want to run conveyor belts, we can underneath it. Um, just in case. I figured, eh. And also with all of the, like the, there's a full, there's a full platform, full foundation here in the middle and between the two lines. So I could also run hyper tubes up here. Yeah, there's a lot of things we could do with it. So anyway, um, this double line runs the extent of this area here. Look at that, look at those trains. Trains in the night. Uh, I figured out how to work block stuff, how to do pathing, uh, how to do T intersections. Look at my pretty T intersection here. I know how to do these now. Um, but yeah, so basically everything south of here is all on my double line. Um, the one thing I haven't really messed with too much over here yet is are the diagonals. Um, that is another thing that I'm going to have to figure out. I know there's a way to do curves, um, which I might want to play around with and see if I can maybe make a pretty curve for it. So right now, like, yeah, there's no, see, there's nothing like this. I guess theoretically, can I do like, I guess I could put that and I like, so do this. And then, so this, is yeah. so that's my three track thing so i could do it like that but so this is my my blueprint for the three track long thing and i've got a, i've got a single one as well if I'm, if I'm looking for single ones also have a corner piece as well um anyway diagonals are the only things i haven't really messed with um mainly because i was getting super frustrated because my my train stations weren't on the world grid <laughs> and it was driving me bonkers. So, but dual lines all the way around. Um, I have really, two, so this is what my import out or my import export stations are gonna look like here. So two stations side by side. The idea is um, one line, I mean, both lines can run to the, the input. So you start by doing imports so if you're taking stuff in, you drop it off, and then literally the train loops around and then comes to the export line. And then you grab whatever you need and then goes back out. See, so like, there we go. So that train's going to blast right through imports. And this is my waterfall export line. Look at that. So there it goes. And then it's going to go north. Hi. So uh, obviously it has nothing to pick up or drop off, so that's why it's just kind of hauling butt through it. But uh, anyway... That is the idea. Oh god, what is this? What is that? This cable here. Ugh. What happened? What? Where is that going? Oh, it's to there. I wonder if I can do this. I'll do it like that. There we go. A little bit, a little bit better. I still need to work my my power and stuff. So essentially, this is what my train station is going to look like. So anywhere I put train stations, I want to do an import and an export just in case. Um, you know. And they're all they're all five stations long. Um, sort of the beauty of having this turn here is if I needed to expand it, I could literally just push out the end. So I can just make it longer this way to add more more uh, freight stuff. So I can basically go that direction until I hit a wall like that, which I think that's a pretty good distance away, I think. Right? That's, that's six away or so, but so at least good enough for um, what, three more freight platforms if I want it. So, there's this one here. There is one all the way over there doing the exact same thing. Um, and then my lines, you can see it actually runs south. So, um, you can't really see. Yeah, there you go. You can see, so, you can see over. See it all the way down there. So basically makes it all the way to the end and then loops back around. So uh, this whole bit is done. And so yeah, and I figured today we would go clean up our old stations. 
um, by uh, updating them and doing the dual the dual track to them, also doing the imports and exports, um, and yeah. So that's and then eventually, what I'm thinking of doing is doing a sort of um, what's the word I'm looking for a uh, like a uh, storage building. So I have my storage right now at the main base. Um, but I'm thinking I want to update it to sort of include everything. Oh, no. Which, uh, yeah. So basically anything that gets built would be thrown, at least until I have another use for it, be thrown into a sort of storage facility similar to the, what I have over here right now. Um, but it would be bringing in stuff from all over the place. So, like, right now, I've got all these guys. So, st some stuff from trains is coming in. So, basically, these are all from trains on this side. And then these are all from this, like, kind of local areas. Like, everything basically around this area is kind of spit into these guys. And then everything from the train station is spit into these guys. And so, essentially, I want to make... I want to recreate this over there somewhere where I have everything from the trains... That gets built elsewhere, drops off over there, so I can kind of get quick access to everything. So that's the plan. That is the plan. So, Natalie Storm, I am still alive. Yes. Obviously. So, that's the plan for today. I figure we'll continue working on train stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will hang out with me for a bit and check it out. And all of the fun things. So, let's pick up some supplies. Use a lot of supplies doing this stuff. And then some plastic, which is over here. And then we need some concrete. And how are we doing? We got, we need some pipes as well. Which is a bit odd that we need those, but hey, whatever. And... Yeah, so here's my circuit board box. So this is the, I think you were here the last time we made this. And that was the, uh, this is the box now. So now it's automatically filled. And so uh, this what used to be a, a electric or a, a doggo. Now I think I've just kind of my random stuff in here. And I do have the crystal oscillators being built off site. They're not being trucked over here yet though. So. That may be something as well. I don't have Novelisks automated. I don't have computers automated yet. But I think this might be the next big thing. Because look look at that. So alternate recipe 2. It's crystal oscillators and circuit boards make three computers. That's not difficult at all. And I have circuit boards and crystal oscillators both being built. Like crystal oscillators right here. Circuit, or excuse me, circuit boards right here. Crystal oscillators right here. So I could easily have a line where somehow these end up over here, make a little computer factory with assemblers, and then have those being produced as well. So turbo, turbo easy, super, super nice. So, all right, well, let's head over to the area I have been working on as far as um, the uh, current sort of state of oh, did pain train. Already? Where's pain train? It's all the way across there. There it is. It's going to be a little bit. Uh, I can take you over to where I've been working right now. Sort of the next train station is kind of my my first stop on sort of the update list. So we'll get to that. Here. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I need to do this. I need train platforms. That's what I need. Okay. Transport. We're going to say freight platform. So we need not one of those. Edit to-do list. We need eight freight platforms. Hi, Cooper. How are you doing? And then two train stations. So let's get all the stuff we need for that before we head that way. Because right now my train... I basically have four freight cars with each of my trains. That's the plan. Um, Cooper, you me saying hello to everyone? You're going to be a good boy. You're going to be annoying. What can I get rid of? It's a lot of concrete. I got a lot of concrete on me. All right, heavy modular frames. I need a bunch. And then cable, of all things. How much cable do I need? 
I need, uh, I got 192. I got plenty there. Then motors. I also don't have a motor factory yet. That is something I should probably get on at some point. Okay. We're all good here. Did the train already pass? Oh, the train's here. Let's see if we can catch it. Nice. Currently docking. Beautiful. Good timing. All right. Thank you very much, everyone who is resubbed. Everyone who jumped in. Christian, 66 months in a row. 600 months to go. <laughs> Sarah Cat, 91, 28 months. Thank you. Zardsport, 80 months total. 586 months to go. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Fortis Draco, a brand new Prime Warden. Thank you very much. Uh, Bradley Johnson, thank you for the raid. Appreciate you. And Cybin Mistress. Jax, look at my last year to go through. Still learning how to do this. Hope you have a great 2023. Thank you very much. Cybin, Sabin, Sebin. Not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for that. Uh, some of these corners I need to work on. But you can see. So there is my Crystal Oscillator factory. Right there. The big tall one. And then over there, that little floating box is where my circuit boards are being made. I need to finish off the bottom of it. There's my coal factory I never properly walled off. Oops. But you can see this is about where I got to. So the idea is we will have this train station. I'm thinking maybe I'll push it this way. Uh, to the left, just because on the right is, well, rock. So, we'll expand the train station out this direction. And, uh, yeah, and go from there. So, let's just kind of make our floor. Alright, let's just... Not sure the full length of it we need it to be. Looks like to there, maybe. It'll probably need to be wider than this, but we can at least get the initial one going. Did I miss? I missed the missed the thing in the middle. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah. Let's just go ahead and start. Knocking this stuff out. Oh no, this is gonna have to be full of stuff, isn't it? Oh crap, okay. Um, well, this is a wee bit frustrating. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of stuff on me. Okay, let's just let's make a box. The awesome sink ripping. Oh, it's, th it's this. It's the miners making. I was like, what is making so much noise? Okay. Come on. Oh, auto save. Okay, let's start dropping some stuff in here we don't currently need. Um. It's a lot of pipes. One quartz. All right. So first things first, we are going to expand. He's not lined up. Yeah, let's fix this. Uh, we are going to make this railway. Nice and pretty. And wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay. That was right. One, two, three. One. 
too. Okay. Let's mess that up. What is going on here? This is too shallow is what that is. Yeah, this should start. Right here. So let's go ahead and back this guy up a little bit. Trust me, I did a whole lot of rail making uh, off camera. So I've got a lot of practice making these dumb things. So the idea is you want to have them lined up. So that way when you put down blocks, block stations, like they're basically mirrors of each other. So they look a little bit nicer, at least in my opinion, I think they look a little bit nicer. Okay. And let's go ahead and push this one out to here. And to here. Alright, get those going. We'll knock out this old garbage foundation. Who likes this? Ugh. Knock out all this. You know what? We'll push that back too. Okay. Beautiful. And now we will take our our new pattern. And right there. Knock out the bottom there. And let's go ahead and finish this. Oh. Did that not build? Weird. Okay. And there we go. Nice. So now we got the pretty looking tracks. So let's go ahead and make sure these line up properly. And again. There and oh good. I must have done this one all properly already. Like so, and nope, those are not aligned. Well, that's right, this one's messed up. Yeah, okay. Okay, I know, now Now I'm figuring it out. Okay. This is me, my old line. I basically just replaced the uh, the track underneath it. So one and two. Back up to there. One and two. To there. Well, way too close. And then... Back it up. One, and let's just... We'll match that one. There we go. Come on. Oh, there we are. Gotta love the autosave when you're flying. So you just want, I just, I just like having these things lined up next to each other. It makes me happy. See how this one's off. Come on, come on. That one, that's the one I wanted. Now they're not. Hi, Emma. We only need the one side again. So the way, the way I've done it is oh that was a big smack sorry about that whoever's listening uh is if you're going on the map i wish i can i wish you could see train line on this map here It'd make it so much easier if you're going from the east to the west you're going to be on the the north line so the idea is i have two lines running either direction furthest north if you're looking at two is always going to go east to west and the south will always go west to east and on the flip of that if you're going north-south, the most west line will always be going south. Does that make sense? So, like, right here, these two lines are north-south. So, this one is always going to go this direction. Always that way. And then this one will always go this way. 
That's just how, how it works. So, that's the plan. Irony, what's up, Irony? How you doing? Good to have you back. All right, so let's come over here and figure out our train line. So, um, we need, all right, so one, two, two, there and then this here and then we go down two and then we go over two so right here okay so now if I'm not mistaken let's see if I can figure this out you can it Did I misnumber that? No. What? Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a dumb dumb. Okay. You don't actually do that first. Okay. There. And there. Now we can build this out to here. It's it's so finicky as far as how. To do these lines. There we go. So there's our train line. And so now we're actually going to do this and go one, two, three. Up to here. And this will be our first station. So this is going to be where our exports, no, imports come from. Excuse me. This is where our babies come from. Oh, yeah, and also, while I'm here, um, so I need... Blocks. Path, excuse me. So path here. So you need three paths and three block signals, basically. Path here. And path there. And then block here. Uh oh. That train is gonna be upset. It's very confused. It's missing a station. Block there. And block there. Okay. So there we go. That's sweet. All right. So we've done our rails now. Now we just have to build our station. Super easy. So let's go ahead. Say transport. We're gonna say we're actually starting from the back. So this could be a freight platform. Must be placed in line. With, so do you have to build the train platform first? All right. What can I do? Empty. First. Is it two platforms? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's two. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then the train platform. Ooh, okay. It's a little bit longer than I thought it actually was. All right. Was anyone paying attention to what I said with those numbers? <laughs> oh, crap. All right. One two, three, four, platform. So platform is right here. We'll say like here. Start, it's here and here, basically. Um, okay. Train station. Floor is too steep, okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that. Basically, the train platform. Has to be in front of this guy. Okay. Train station. This direction. And we want you dead center. 
like so. Right? And this one, nice. Okay. Beautiful. All right, and this is going to be our... What's, what's this area called? What should we call this area over here? So, we've got quartz down there. Or actually, quartz over there. My quartz factory, my uh, crystal oscillator factory... And my circuit board factory. There we go. All facing this way. So this is my exports. So what should we call this? I don't even know. Sean, Mr. Wicker, are you looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy coming out next month? I'm very curious about it. I want to check it out, for sure. Yeah. It's going to be pretty rad. Um, Crystal City? Silver Lights? I like it. Crystal City. This is Imports. Right? Crystal City Imports. And then... Oh, you know what? We may actually have to destroy it <laughs> initially, or briefly. Because the idea is then go one, two, three. Oh, no, I can do this. Cool. Okay. What did I just build? All right, so now, one, two, and three. And we do our Crystal City uh, uh, exports. All right. Oh, crap, really? Okay, do this. Trust me, I have gotten so much quicker at doing this than I was the first couple times I tried to figure out how to do it. Y'all would have gone wild. It would have been like, what are you doing, Jack? What is your major malfunction? Okay, it's on this line here. I think that's it. Right there. Okay, we do this and we'll have it, you know what, let's have these both on the same roughly, do I have enough, do I have enough room, yeah I do, it'll be a little tight but I can, I can make it squeeze in here, so that way we're not really, I mean this thing is already wide, having to make it even wider to accommodate the, uh, To accommodate this edge here is going to make it. I mean, I would have to be like another, another platform wide. This thing is already massive. You can see how wide this thing is. All right, so sweet. So now, Crystal City imports. This will be our Crystal City exports. Exports. And. This comes out here, so it goes to this far line here. So we go one, two, three. Hi, Cooper. Kind of like so. And there we go. We got ourselves a train line, y'all. Um, I do need to uh, power this. OK. 
Okay. Where is the actual cord for it? Is that right there? Okay. So we'll put this down there. Oh, that was not my bad. Okay, and then is there anything a bit far, but whatever, I'll take it. I'll run this the length of this way. You there we go. All right, there it is. So this is beautiful. So now we can see pain. This was my initial one. So this one we will now have go. Oh, nothing's nothing. Uh, nothing's being sent to it yet. Why am I? Why am I crouching? There we go. All right, so. We should probably have it start sending stuff back. So what I'm thinking... Oh, no. You know what? <sighs> I was going to say I have it set up where... Right now, I currently have it where, like, two things from this... Like, the front two were accepting these things... Like, four things, and then the back two are accepting four things from over there but I don't have it set up to sort those right now, unfortunately, back in the base. So I think what we'll do is we'll go over to our oil oil city, or Oilberg, I think is what we called it. Is that what we called it? Um, Oilberg. So we'll do our Oilberg import outports, and then uh, from there, we will then once we build those, then we will go back to the main base and start working on our new sorter. So what I'll probably end up having to do is have uh, one train come out here, pick up everything, go back. Maybe maybe I'll just build a train that specifically gets this one and another train specifically gets that one. That probably makes the most sense. Have one line that comes over here, picks up all this crap and then goes back. And the one that goes over there, picks up all that crap, goes back. I think that's going to be our best bet. So, all right, well, that's fun. We'll deal with this for a bit. <laughs> so now, oh, that was one thing. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, I was, I haven't, I haven't expanded, you know what? I haven't expanded the, uh, the train line. Come on, get on the other side. Yeah, you also have to put these blocks up like, everywhere. I haven't expanded the the train to uh oh yeah, see this line. This is the old line, so it's not on the proper angles and stuff. Ugh, gross. I'll have to fix this. Don't worry, we will come back and we will clean this up at some point. This this might be this is like scut work I do, not on stream. Basically make make this line look pretty like this line is. Get there, get there, there we go. Right, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> so, you can see here, this is the old, oh, this is the old line. This is the new line. Uh, here's the old line going out to Oilberg on a diagonal, the rough thing. Uh, in a McGovern, 35 months in a row. Choo choo, happy Hornby Simulator times. Thank you very much. In a McGovern, appreciate you. Twin Stiletto, eight months in a row. 35 for In a McGovern, by the way. Eight months for Twin Stiletto. Thank you. Chibi Acer, 54 months. Thank you, Chibi. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Irony the Goddess, 70 months. I'm a warden again. Lost my sub for a month, but I'm back. Anyway, hi, Jack and chat. Want to pop and say hi before I go back to what I'm working on, which isn't art related for once. Nice. Thank you very much for that. Welcome. Good to have you back, Irony. Much love. Okay. So, what we're going to do for now is I hate this. <laughs> All right. We're just going to make these god awful, ugly corner pieces here. All right. 
We'll do that. And then I do want to make sure that these... Oh, yeah, I dropped a whole bunch of stuff back there. Let me, before I get too far away, I really got to clean that up over there as well. That's my copper? Yeah, copper. I left my... Uh, Left my steroids in El Sobrante. No, over here I, I left. I built that that big box and put a bunch of stuff in it, and then forgot to grab it all. Where am I gonna? Get 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 come on, come on, get there. Get that box. Yeah. Do I have enough room? Yeah, I do. Beautiful. Okay. Ah, <sighs> fun time. So actually, this line is the good line now. This line is the trash line. Yeah, I need to... Okay, once this train passes by, I'm going to fix this little corner here while I'm looking at... while I'm eyeballing it. And clear. Okay, I'm going to wipe you out. Wipe you out. You do this to me. Okay. To here. And then right to there. There we go. And there. Okay. Now it's closer to the line. And those stations or the blocked things are both lined up perfect okay sweet long answer short answer 11 months in a row thank you very much long answer short answer appreciate you okay so now let's go ahead and make why is this wanting to do that okay Again, we will come back and fix this. Oh, God, I hate these. Straightens out about right here. So, somewhere in here. Alright. So, there is World Grid. Right there. Why I did it that way, I don't know. But, okay, hang on, we'll do this. Okay, so this is on World Grid. That. That. Now. This will be off initially. I know that for sure. I mean, I know that's going to be the case, but we will fix it later. Don't worry. Oh, God. Get out of my way. I can't see where I'm going. Like so, I believe. I wish I could get rid of my hand. My hand is literally blocking that corner bit. I think I'm 90% positive that's online. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, come on. Oh, this sucks. Ow. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Ran out of juice. Wasn't paying attention, that's what happens. Alright. So you can see this is not lined up, obviously. That's okay, we can fix that. Cool. This is the bottom track, right? And so we can, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. This is going to be all messed up now. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Fantastic. So now we'll do this. And we'll come out here and we'll get our corner. So I built it where the empty corner, the outside corner has that little lip, that little curb on the outside edge. So I know this right here, you see there's nothing underneath that one. That's the one. See, clever planning is what that is. All right. Now, let's work our way this direction. I was happy that was the only real significant um, corner I had to deal with. Oh man, yeah. Blueprints are a, uh, a miracle. <laughs> I'm really excited that they're in this game now because uh, this would have been excruciating. Okay. And so now to get north. And honestly, at this point, I could pretty much do whatever I want because I'm going to wipe all this stuff out and do my own thing. But let's. All right. So it looks like. Two ways kind of where the begins. Well, that's good timing. Okay. And now we go this way. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. All right. All right now. Come on now. And so my guess is once I complete this line, no longer will trains take that far line all the way out and around. I think they'll turn around and come back. Because I think it might be faster to go back this way to base. Although, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe it would be faster going the other way. We'll have to see. Okay. Let's go ahead. I think if I destroy this now, that train is not going to have anywhere to go. So it, it'll just stop like the the block, the block station things will be like, no, no, stop it, stop it. So I think we're OK there. So let's go all the way back and clean up these trains. I played so much of this game, got all the way to the final tier without touching trains or drones. They seem so daunting. Yeah, honestly, trains, I mean, they were very, very difficult looking for me 
And I literally spent like a few hours trying to figure them out. And I finally kind of cracked it. I'm like, okay, I think I get it now. I think I kind of understand it. And so now this is where, this is my, my time down here. <laughs> I, I kind of am like, all right, I think I get trains. I think I can make them work. And so we'll see. I could be way off and totally wrong. Uh, again, these corners I will work with. Try to clean up. Hi, Cooper. Cooper, you come here to watch me get angry at trains and tracks. See, like, st stuff like this. It's like, where do you want to go? Where are you going, Frank? Where are you going? See, like, okay, let's just, I know this is off. I know it's bad. Just, no one look at that little hiccup there, all right? Just no, no one, no one look at that, please. Just no one, please, no. Everyone, everyone knows it's okay. It's fine. We're doing, we're, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, and two. Rain. Okay, made it around the corner. Over here. Now two. Make this clean. Beautiful. Alright, we're cooking with gas now. That little... <laughs> Glad we have our lamp makes all the difference so I try to build it back I try not to do full lengths for the rails I try to push it back just a little bit uh, just in case I need to come back and adjust things I have a little bit of leeway on either side so that's why if you see because I can go like you know a little bit further out but I always push it back like a full foundation just in case I ever like decide I need to come around and, and mess with stuff. It just gives me a little bit of play um, <clears throat> in the build. Ooh, that looks a little crooked. Oh, maybe not. Okay. You... Here. You to here. Can you tell I've done these a few times? Sort of line them up right. There we go. Ah, crap. This is one thing about blueprints that drives me a bit nuts. See how these are not facing the right way? And this one's going this way? That means this, for some reason, got rotated in the blueprint. It's going the wrong direction. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Redo that. I'm glad we caught it now. There we go. Same with this guy. Mm -hmm. My little vertical thingies there. Right, there we go. And also this one. What? Just like every other one flopped. That sucks. Oop. Did I destroy anything by accident down there? Okay, we seem all right. Good, good. Hi, Cooper. Back to 
there. And we'll just push it right to... Well, let's go ahead and push it to here. To here. All right, folks. Do we want the train station on this side? Kind of over this area? Or over here? I'm thinking this side, because there's really nothing down here that I can build on. So I think I'm going to push it this way. All right, let's do that. All right, so here we go. Let's just tear out... Tear out the old station. I guess we just... That's one way of doing it. How's my inventory looking? Ooh, it's close. Okay. Uh, do, do. Gotta do the platform. There we go. All right, first. Let's tear out all of this garbage. This just trash looking floor. I've hit my limit. I mean, really, we just kind of want to get across. We want to make the, the rail go all the way through. I don't know what I'm hitting, but that's okay. That's what I was hitting. These are all good. Yep. Okay. And right there. Can we push it all the way out to the end? Yeah, might as well. We'll, we'll go all the way out to the turn. How are we doing on resources? Uh, we're doing okay. I think. Get a little tight on the... Uh, thing there, but that's all right. And we'll do a single. Actually, okay, so if that's the outside edge, that means we'll do another... Yeah, we'll do another single, and then we'll do the outside. Okay. That's pretty close to this side here. All right, sweet. That works. Good times. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So right here. Build it up to there. You good? Yeah. And you too. There. All right. This one took quite a bit of, uh, of juice. All right, so let's do them really far for now. Mm, yeah. All right. First things first. I'm a realist. All right. So one, two, three, one, 
two. So you go there. And then you go to here. I guess this one's kind of... I was doing opposite side, so this one's going to then go this way. So... Like that for now. One, two, three. One, two. So right here. So this is actually going to be the exports, I believe. Oop. Oh, and this one kind of bit of here-ish. Jesus, that was creepy. Siri just went, uh-huh. Okay. Which one? Which side do I need? There to there. There it is. Do it. Nope. <laughs> there we go. There it is. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. All right, so now we're going to do a path signal here. A block signal here. A block signal here. A path signal here. And then a path signal there and a block signal there. All right? Yep, that seems right. Cool. Is that right? Coming out of this, that's a path. Yep, we should be good. That's sweet. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so now, if we do this, this is my boomstick train station. Floor is too steep. Okay. A little bit wider for you. Like so. Correct. All right, and we got our Oilberg platforms here. All right. Go ahead and push them all the way out to 10. So, nine. There we go. You guys excited about all these new train stations? You all super jazzed for it? I know I am. I was like, this is the day I'm waiting for. That's what the song is actually about. <laughs> all right, uh, here we go. So this is a train station. We need freight platforms. Do we want them off that side? So this is my... Yeah, we'll go ahead and send them this way. Two. Three. Four. All right. One, two, three, four. Cool. And 
then this will come done yeah and then it goes one two three right to there does it enter from this side yeah okay So no, this is actually going to be the freight platform. Wait, did I do that right? No, no, this will be the train station on the end. That's right, okay. There we go. And then, do we have enough room? I, I looked at this last time. Do we have enough room? Yeah, okay. It's going to be a little gross over here, but that's all right. We can, we'll make it work. I need computers. Can I do empty platforms for now? Yeah, I can. Okay. So one, two, three, and four. And then one, two, three. Beautiful. All right, so this is our imports. This would be our exports. This is Oilberg. Oli, Oilberg exports. And this is Oilberg imports. And so. This is import, so we're unloading these. These are all set up to load. So have you named all the trains yet? Major Isk? I, I kind of have, actually. Um, you can see my trains. I've got Pain and Gain, my first two. And then I got Cooper, Reamer, Squeak, and Ellie, which are my cats. So I named them all after that. And th th those are mostly just test trains, honestly. Although you know. So Ellie. So Ellie's just doing aluminum exports and imports. Let's edit Ellie and see if we can get her to do something fun. So let's say she does aluminum exports, then waterfall ex exports. No, that's and then home base, and then say Crystal City imports and Oilberg imports. That's a lot of stuff. Ellie to do. She's pretty small. So. Who okay, will voice Hermione on this train? Great question. We'll get some CEO's daughter to do it. It'll sound just like the original. Alright, let's go through and start putting in some block signals on our way back. Go. Don't need that one. So again, now the uh, the the line that is not going to be touched by anyone just yet. So we've we've effectively destroyed that portion of the train uh, for now until I go through and clean it up. But that's okay. We can rebuild it. We can make it stronger. Okay, and the stupid, stupid, stupid little thing here. One over here. Yeah. Lots and lots of block signals. Basically, these signals let the trains know that no other train is in the same path. So if the, as long as these are green, a train can blast through them. As soon as they go red, 
that means a train will not go through them. So, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's get back. Um, and let's build out... What is going on? What is this? What happened here? That was a misclick is what that was. Weird. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll get back and we will, um, we'll go ahead and build out the, um, the new storage station, the new storage import station. So we have a place for all of this stuff to go. That is, that's the next step we need to do. And then we can reconnect all of these lines and they will actually have places to go. So we can reconnect it, have these things going out, start picking up stuff. And then, but then they'll have a place to actually take it. So that is the next step. So everything's going to be backed up for a little bit for now until I get that line up and running, but we'll, we'll get it sorted. Don't you worry. Make Radiator Springs racers. That'd be cool. Oh. I can maybe do that if I line up two side by side. It'd be tricky. Uh, do those trains have carts for cargo? Not yet. Stony Cat Palmer. They will. They will, though. Don't worry. We will get there. We're doing pretty good on time, actually. We moved through that. We built... Two, we redid a whole series of... Oh, crap. I forgot. This thing will actually turn around. We rebuilt a whole series of track, rebuilt two train stations, almost finished them. <laughs> Where's Ellie? Where's Ellie? All right, where is Ellie? Cooper, truck, squeak, truck, reamer. Ellie, where are you at? Gain... What's going on here? Oh, pain is stuck. Pain has nowhere to go. All right. Because we destroyed. Pain was my original train. So it's sitting here going, like, I don't know what to do. I got no place else to go. Okay. I'm going to say, what? All right. Timetable. Home base. Let's send this one out to. Oilberg Imports. Go. Oh, it's docking. Why, why is it docking? So there's there's Ellie sitting back there. Waiting for this guy. There it goes. All that being said, we're about to destroy all of this stuff anyway, so it works out pretty well. Actually, no, 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 we're not. We're gonna we're gonna work up there, so we'll be okay. So Ellie, so Ellie should. Oh, you know what? There's no no blocks. Hang on. There she goes. Okay. Yeah, there's really not a lot of blocks over here because I'm gonna tear all this stuff out anyway. I didn't power Oilberg. Caleb Hammer Live says, do you have a favorite personal finance YouTuber? I do not. I do not. But I should look into that. I need to find a tax guy. My tax guy retired and the guy that replaced him with sucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, uh, Zard, you take care. You get some rest. Thank you very much for hanging out. Okay. Uh... So let's go ahead and say we're going to need two of them and eight of them. All right, I need computadores. I need cattle. 
I need heavy modular frames and motors. Motors. And heavy modular frames. Beautiful. Now then, while I'm here, I'll grab lots more of this stuff because I need lots more of that. I need more plastic. And the good thing is you can't see it here, but I actually have another full chest of plastic underground. It's basically like a buffer. So once this fills, that one fills. And so if I pull from here, it pulls from there instead of the train station. So I do have some backup here until hopefully until stuff really breaks. Um, what else do I need? I guess concrete, maybe one more plastic. I'm full. That makes sense. Okay, well, I'm not too far from base, so I can always come back and grab stuff if I need to. All right, so... We're going to build... A new... whole new thing up here. So we need a train station, first of all. There's no... No nodes over... Mm. Problem is, yeah, there's nothing over there. I mean, I need a lot of room, though. Yeah, I'm going to hit that, I think. If I if I build the train station on this side, I'm, I'm literally going to hit that, I think. I could be wrong. We can test it. I mean, look at that. So 10 puts me out to here. So this, if I get... I can do it in 7 or less. I can name that song in 4 notes. So the train station is one, two, three. That's just spilling off that in. Okay, so it's basically four wide, five wide with how I do it. So I'm going to need ten wide. Yeah, so I can't do it on the side. I mean, I could, but that's going to require a whole lot of finagling. So let's just go ahead and just do it on this side. May have to move that. Actually, no. I won't need to do that. All right, so... How close to the rock here? Oh. That was an optical illusion. Actually, it wasn't nearly as far as I thought it would be. Okay, so let's go ahead. Give myself plenty of room. Tree. So this is going to be our platform taking everything in. Do we want to build? So I was thinking, oh, it's windy outside. I, I was thinking if we had like a row of logistics under here to pull everything from the train stations down and sort them. And then actually underneath that had a bunch of truck stations like on ground level, like all the way down the bottom that we could then bring in trucks full of stuff and that will also feed in. So everything will all be trucked in or trained in to this one central hub. So I guess the truck stations really, they can, oh, this is gonna be rough. They can, oh, where the heck am I? They can live pretty much anywhere. Like even on this, like this area here, they could live down there. Okay, all right, I, I think I can make this work. We can make this work. Okay. Go ahead and tear out a little bit of this. So. Okay, one, two. Okay. So this. Go to there. Then you'll go here. And so... Alright, so... This is where it'll start. 
One, two, three. line coming through and then this one one okay so that's one two and three and so here and this will be our imports right Right on the far side, so it's coming from that way. I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, this will be our imports. So this will be our tail section. So one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one and then this will be the front line of the train. Floor's too steep. Come on now. So picky. It should be right there. I'm going to say freight. And we'll have the freight going that way. That makes sense. Beautiful. That's clean. Is clean. We got three out. One, two, three, and then one, two, right there, and then two, three more. So one, two, three. This guy will go right here. Is everyone getting the hang of it now? Everyone feeling the groove? I think that's enough, right? Oh, that's right. We got to build the train platform first. Everyone's <laughs> ready to give a presentation. Yes. Hope you're all taking notes. There will be a quiz. All right. This line right here in the center. Pretty sure that's it. Missing concrete. Okay. I can do that. I can do concrete. And here we are. And back up. go. Alright. And 
this one exports, I believe. Oh, flipped. We're going to have them going on the left side. Et voila. Beauty. Okay. I may have to... Actually not. I think I build it in such a way that it starts here. So one, two, three, two, three. Three paths and three blocks. Path block. All right, there we go. Voila! We got ourselves an import output station. Import out port 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 port. And this time, let's not forget to power it. How about that, team? I can't believe you guys made me forget last time to power this dang thing. I'll never forgive you. So, we'll, what will we call this? This will be... We'll just call it main. Alright, so this is main imports. And this... Main... Exports. Cool. Okay. With all that being said, we can now actually tear out this station. So, how am I doing on resources? Fine, okay. Okay, so now we will go through and break this one, connect these guys, then break the other end, connect those guys, and then we got, we got a lot of management to do. So, let's see if this one's going. Where's it going? Okay, it's going back. All right, here we go. Tearing them out. Okay. Okay, there it is. That one is just... There we go. All right. from scary to now it's it's green. Okay, beautiful. Okay. 
Okay. You know what? I don't know if... I think I did have an idea of what I was doing over here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> These are... Oh, they're on the same one. Okay, that's fine. Lock stations in. All right, sweet. I got these guys pretty much done already. Okay, so this one's done. Oh man. Okay. It's gonna be a bit of work. A bit of work to get all this up and running. But it's one of those things like once I've done it now, adding on to it's going to be not like super easy, but it's not going to be nearly as difficult. I mean, you've seen we've already put in three train stations tonight and I kind of know what I'm doing now. So I'm like, all right, I feel much more comfortable with this stuff. Oh, what did I do? Come on, Jack. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go ahead and just fix this. Oh, that one was right. That was correct. Then you got to do it to two. Match this guy. There we go. Okay. And tear that out. Tear that out. As far as I go. All right. Picking up multiple fix it personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest Horrifying. before it's too late. Okay, so these are the ones that aren't. So these aren't aligned anymore. This is the old line. So I'm going to tear this one out. Because I am I'm the crazy person that has to have these all match. So blame me all you want. Even this. What, what am I doing? Oh, wait, that's the inside. Feels wrong. What is going on here? One, two, three. That is way wrong. What? What was I doing? Who even was I? Okay. That to there. Come on. Wait a minute. What? No, 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 no. This to here is what I want. Jeez. This to here. And then this to here. There we go. That lines them up. These are off again. Good Lord, former Jack, what were you even thinking? Okay, we can skip that one. Break this. 
to here. Okay. See, this is the stuff you don't normally see me doing. This is the kind of stuff I do uh, in my own free time when I can be a total psychopath <laughs> and real anal about this stuff. All right. I was putting in block signals is what I was doing. So I don't know if y'all are into me going absolutely bonkers doing this stuff or what, but oh, whoa, caught it right to here. There's the next break. There it is. Again, this is why it's easier to do it all at the same time than trying to uh, come back later and do it all. Okay. Okay, beautiful. It's so much prettier when it's all, you know, properly done, right? See that? Look at that. So much nicer. So much nicer. I don't want to get bogged down doing this stuff, so this is this could take me ages to get it all. So I'm gonna do just a couple more, just to make sure we have enough runway for our trains to get over to the stations over there. Basically, that's the that's the thing I was worried about the most. So this should be enough room. There might be some weird hiccups. We'll go back and I'll, I'll come back here and clean all this stuff up. Greetings from Mississippi. Thank you very much, Mississippi. How are you doing? Greetings from whatever this planet is called. What's going on here? We shouldn't be there. Oh, man. Kicking Bucket, 18 months. Thank you very much, Kicking Bucket. Appreciate you, buddy. Super nice of you. Dinsler, thank you very much for the raid. Aw, Warpack, thank you very much. Sorry I missed you before, but thank you for the sub. Thank you for supporting me. Appreciate you. <laughs> Anxiety's hitting me watching Jack do this. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Don't worry, this is all safe. This is a safe place. We're good. Everyone's, everyone's good here. No one is in trouble. What are these trains doing? Oh, is it? Wait, what? Where's this guy going? Where are you going, buddy? Who even are you? This Reamer. Right, Reamer just ran in there, did a little Ewing, booked it out. What? What is Reamer's line? Reamer. Aluminum exports and imports? Why'd you come all the way out here to do your loop? That seems odd. It's like a... Squeak, Cooper. There's Reamer. That was odd. Ellie is... Okay, so they're currently stuck over here. Ellie's stuck at the imports and exports because these are not powered. So they don't know what to do. That's fine. All right, well, 
we've got all of these now. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Love you too, Michelle. All right, so these are my imports. This is my main imports, right? So these are all going to be unload. 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 And unload. Okay. So there and there. Is that load or... Okay, so that these are imports, so I need to go on these guys. I have enough room to do. Yeah. Okay. And go. Oh man, I need I need to get an aluminum plant up and running. Pretty soon. Um, I've been watching uh, what Darren plays, and he just recently finished a massive aluminum um, thing, like an al aluminum plant. It took him like three episodes to do it, but it's huge and it spits out so much aluminum. Those of you who have played this game a lot before. Um, do, do you end up needing a lot of, of aluminum, like in the, in the fourth tier, like in the nuclear tier? Do you need, a, do you need a lot of aluminum or is it just a little bit? Because if you need a lot of aluminum, I can build a very, very large, I can build a very, very large uh, aluminum plant. Beautiful. There's nothing underneath here. It's gorgeous. But if you need tons of aluminum, then uh, aluminum is all your Mark V belts. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh, man. I just realized. Hmm. I'm going to need some programmable splitters, I think. Are these terribly different super are those supercomputers? Ugh. Really need a supercomputer for each one of them? That's a lot of aluminum. I don't remember needing a ton of aluminum. No. I guess that is a lot just to get the tier five stuff. I mean I, I want to build an aluminum factory. I just don't know if it needs to be huge. Total X clips of the great build guys. True, true, true. Make a yacht. <laughs> Make a lot, YOLO. <laughs> All right. So now that this is done, we can go over here and tear out the old station. Thank you very much, Michelle. Come on. All right, let's tear out this old stuff. All this grossness here. It's so gross. Okay. And we're going to put shade on the. Uh, or we're going to get rid of shade for the first time in a long time for a bunch of areas. station is gone.
I'm curious as to why trains are passing through this loop right here, right now. Like, I don't understand why that's the path of least resistance for them. That, that is confusing to me. That doesn't feel like where they should be right now. lines. That's going to be such a huge pain to sort all this stuff out again, but we will do it. We will do it. This is our this is our project for the night. This is the, the last thing we'll be doing tonight. At least I want to try to get at least what we had back up and running again. Um, like there obviously will be more to it than this, but for now, we at least return to what we had. No speed, no speed. No, 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 no speed. original train station is gone. It is torched. It is no longer existing. No longer in existence. As a matter of fact, we can clear out. I mean, this area right here, this could be our new storage area. need on me. That's a lot of fabric. Don't need a bunch of fabric right now. for bearing with me, everyone, as we tear out our old stuff. Hey, okay, this is the life of a pioneer, right? These are my awesome sinks for my incoming stuff. These can actually go too. Very full of materials at the moment. Matter of fact, I've got all of this can go. Oh my god, so much. Okay, well. I'm gonna throw one gap right there. So these are all my imports. We've got eight holes of imports. But that being said, we're not going to have just eight things. There's going to be, we're going to have everything is going to feed into these, these spots. So we need them to go down, hit, I assume, I'm, I'm thinking a programmable splitter, right? If we do a programmable splitter... I can basically divide it half and half. I mean, I literally could just do smart splitters and just have it push through. But the problem is I would have to do 
basically smart splitters like the same like I have to basically line up everything for each one. Where a programmable splitter, I could say like, okay, if, you, if it's like these ten recipes, you go that way. Ten of these, you go that way, and I can at least split it initially. Ugh. All right, this is where my brain starts hurting. I'm so confused. Why? Why are they going through there? Because it's aluminum imports and exports, so whatever. But I guess that's the... I guess... Oh, you know what? I bet it, this is a shorter route to get to here than it is to get to the the waterfall station. Okay, that makes sense. It's kind of silly, but it makes sense, I suppose. Um, okay, let me, let me clear out a little bit of inventory space. I've got a whole lot of stuff on me I don't need. Before I start wrapping my head around this. Hey, LJBT1998, welcome. Hope you have yourself a good time. All right, what can I can get rid of some of this? I have a slug on me. I think I have all my yeah, my power shards are in here. Um. We can put motors back for now. Just get rid of that. Um, I'll add it. Let's go ahead and throw that in that in there. Don't really need those currently. What is the recipe for supercomputer? Two computers, two AI splitters. Uh, oh, excuse me, AI limiters. Uh, three high-speed connectors and plastic. Okay, I can make four of these guys. Yeah, I think I can do that. I got enough stuff for that. Okay. Um... Okay, so I need... No, not not these. I need programmable splitters. All right, four mo. Yeah, that's no problem. Supercomputer. So, with that, I need eight AI limiters, which is quickwire. Twenty times eight is one sixty. Let's see. All right, Ocho, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. Okay. And then high speed connectors. High speed connector, hang on. Oh, it's a lot of quick wire. Okay. Two. I need 12 of these guys. Four. Right? Yeah. 12. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There we go. And we get four supercomputers. My day is going well. Thank you very much for asking. I'm playing some Satisfactory. That always makes me happy. I'm currently reworking my storage area. There's a lot to it. Okay. And then motors. I, I need to build a motor factory. Is what it comes down to. I need to build a plant 
that does this motors. So I think that might be my first sort of offshoot plant. So here we go. All right, let's go ahead and work on a logistics floor. So Here we go. Here's our logistics floor. <sighs> All right, let's let's do this. Let's 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 let real quick before we get too wild. Don't know what that's doing there, but whatever. Let's go over here real fast and start making notes. Okay. We are going to say public notes. Heavy mo modular frame. My, I'm hiding this. Hang on. I'm going to cover that because I'm not going to touch this for a bit. That look okay. All right, heavy modular frame. Where'd it go? All right, how do I? Okay, there it is. Heavy modular. There's also a way you can do it where you can make it. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So we'll say. All right. Things to sort. This work. Nope. Oh, just the slash. Like that. There we go. Okay. And then O is the orange. So we'll have to do like, do like this. And we'll say silica. That work? Do I need to do it across? No, nope, I guess I have to do it through all of them. Each line. Like that. Yeah, okay. All right, we've got, this is silica. Nailed it, okay. Silica, and those are uh, circuit boards. And this is crystal quartz and rubber. Why did circuit boards not save? Circuit boards. Crystal, quartz, rubber. Do I just have to exit instead of, okay. Plastic, packaged fuel. Plastic, packaged fuel, fabric. Y'all see that? I look okay. Where should I do it? All the way around. Okay. Anyway, so those are the things I need to sort. Those are things currently shipping in from around the map. Um, so we'll say, we'll say currents, 
we'll say to add and then we want to add we're gonna add uh oscillating crystals is that what it is called was that is that what crystal oscillator i got so close crystal oscillator we want to add that in there we want to add in we got circuit boards already um is that the only thing this game teaches you how to go to yes is that the only current thing we have running that we haven't added to it oh uh well i would say the adaptive control units from that factory but they're not really shipped out anywhere yet okay well Crystal oscillators. I feel like there's something else I'm missing. Well, you know, we'll throw on adaptive. What the heck? Why is that happening? Oh, I run out of space. Okay, we'll just call these ACUs. All right, the other ones are all coming from places right now. Okay, so really, we don't have a whole lot. We've only got 10 things we need to sort currently. All right, so 10 things to sort. We should just do them like these will all be updated to mark fives so like should we just have them going opposite directions of each other just to make it easier because again we'll have 750 and 750 of these all coming down our imports will be on the other side eventually i think building is quick yeah it's, it's pretty rad um okay because again we have to assume we don't know. We don't know what's coming out of what. So maybe. Maybe we set it up like this where. So it's this high. So maybe we have we have smart splitters or programmable splitters on all of them. And then we have five of them go over here for now or half go over here, half go over there. So if it's all of one thing, it'll go this way. If it's all the other thing, it'll go that way. So it'll be like... like so that makes sense so it'll be like you know so basically have this spitting into a splitter and then say like, you know, if it's stuff on this side, we'll go this way. So it was like, you know, heavy modular frame, silica, circuit boards, crust quartz, rubber, will go this way. Plastic package fuel, fabric, crystal loss, AC, you go this way. And then sort them all into pieces or sort them all into their various chests and whatnot. Yeah, I think that's, that's the way we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna need 
programmable splitters. So I need four of these guys. So I need four more supercomputers. So I need 12 more high-speed connectors. Some more motors. Supercomputer. So I need eight AI limiters and twelve high speed connectors. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. And then we need eight of these, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. And now we go up here, supercomputers. Four of these guys. Okay, so we'll have programmable supercomputers here. And we can at least split things in the correct directions. And we don't know, I don't know how fast exactly, like with a, so it depends. I would say if you have a full freight car and, and um, mark five belts, what's the slowest, or what's, I guess, what's the quickest to empty a freight car. But, if it's something like screws or something that has 500 in a stack that's different from like a normal stack, so. Okay. Something like this. So we'll have on the left. Center will be none. Or maybe center's overflow. And then we can just send it to another one. Because there might be some overflow. It might be some backing up. So like it'll spit out overflow and go to another one. Have another way of doing it. All right. I'm, I'll, I'll play with that in a bit. We'll say none for now in the center. Okay, so left output, we we'll four of them. We'll say, perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Heavy modular frames, uh, we'll say silica. We'll say circuit boards, crystal quartz, or quartz crystal. You know what, let's go ahead and just do this. We'll do rubber as well. And on the right, plastic. Packaged fuel. Fabric. And then crystal oscillator. And adaptive control unit. Even though they're not in there yet, we'll still We'll, we'll do that. We'll, okay, copy settings. And then paste. So these should all be the same. Okay, cool. So let's do that for all of these guys. Down. One tick down. Okay. 
Okay. So. Again, these all we'll bump all of this stuff up to tier five as soon as we can. So I think that my next play is to make an aluminum factory of some nature. Okay, paste, paste, and paste, and paste. So now, okay, so now we start sending these things through smart splitters. Splitter. Oh no. Alright. Oof. Alright. So the idea is <laughs> Bear with me here. Because this they're not smart mergers, they're smart splitters, aren't they? smart splitters so many smart splitters okay because I need to start sorting all of these guys by what they are <clears throat> I need four I need four per item AI limiters. I need a bunch of AI limiters. All right, I need a whole lot of these guys. Okay, so essentially, I need to I need to make this modular where I can start. Add, I can add more later if I need to. And I can't just merge them all into one as much as I would like to. Right? I can't. Thank you, HOC660 plays. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. I'm happy you're here. I should really watch. I should really watch, like, uh, Kibitz's storage setup he's got. Because really, I mean, I could basically send them all down a line, like literally down a line, and have it set up where it's like, it splits them. So it goes down and it splits off, and then have overflow push out and then restart maybe, uh, or maybe, maybe overflow continues. And then it's a circular, so it, it never never eats its... Uh, I guess, but then it would eat itself at some point, huh? Oh, man. What's up, Gale Seer? How you doing? You have to watch for overflow with that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like... All right, reinforce iron plates and rotors. I'm just trying to think what what's the best way because once I get them all like a sushi belt like once I have them all in the same line then I can deal with it but it's just a matter of getting to that point one box back so we can block up the rest of the belts yeah merge everything first then go to the splitters the problem with that cell see I yeah cell phone yes I agree with you but the problem with that cell phone is 
so many things are going to drop from up here. If I have four stations going, they all drop off, and then I try to merge them. That's going to be a huge backup. Any overflow you don't really need can be synced. Uh, yeah, I get that, but the problem is I don't want to overflow up here. I don't want to over. I don't overflow right off the train. If I'm going to overflow, I want to make sure it's like down below once it all gets sorted. Like if I hit a max, if I hit a capacity, sure, yeah, I can overflow, no problem. But I want to make sure at least makes it to the point where it has a chance to go into the correct bucket before the overflow issue. So therein lies the rub. Um, okay, so this, for example, left output, heavy modular frame, silica, circuit board, quartz crystal, or rubber. So if I put down Smart Splitter, I can have like the right See the pro yeah. Because <laughs> the problem so for example I drop a smart splitter down all of these guys, and then I do like, you know, this, right? So then I'm like, hey, right side, you know, this, we're going left. So heavy modular frame, right side, we say heavy modular frame, goes through there. And so heavy modular frame hits it. If there's a backup with heavy modular frames, for whatever reason, we have, you know, an overflow, which will then go forward, I mean, I mean, I guess that might be the way to do it for now. There's going to be overflow. And like have maybe like an overflow like hole that takes it down to a sink. You know, I've set up another line that comes up. Okay, so like so 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 for example, like I'm doing this, like if I do. You know. Like. You know, for example, that. That's disgusting. Why is that so far off? Screw it. Well, let's do this. Okay. Okay, then we have a merger going this way. So, banks off, goes this direction, right? So now, we go down the line, we essentially do the same thing. So, oh God, you know, the problem is I have to do it for this one too. Oof. Yeah, because yeah, because literally, these this is the same bucket. So that means, so these two holes are coming out of the same freight car. So if there's heavy modular frames in that freight car, they're coming out of both. Which means, I would then have to also smart split into. Oh my god. Oh, how do I do this? It's a tricky one to work out, but once you get it going, it'll sing. Thank you, Zadrian. I'm I'm tempted, honestly, at this point, just to build a bunch of storage units down here, just as a catch-all, <laughs> then then somehow sort out of those. Would that be the way to do it? Can you back it up, sort of the talk? Just burn it down, take a nice walk out of plane. Thank you. I mean, I 
Also help me to have storage box buffer for the lines and building off of them. Okay. Yeah, let's... Okay, for my own sanity, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that just for now. If I can somehow... Alright, so if I do... So essentially, if I can do... Let's do this. Let's make it. That doesn't matter. Are they all going to be one off? That's not right. So it wasn't one off, Jack. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? That's one off. And that's lined up. That's lined up. All right. I think you're right. I think for my own sanity, this is going to be the best bet. So I think... Once I get it into these boxes, I can then start to comprehend how to sort them from here. Okay. Those fit nicely too, okay. Hey, Jack, just so you know, you are the reason I have over 500 hours in this game. <laughs> Not my fault. Can't blame me. The buffer will also help out with the unloading, loading, production, pause, and the belts, so the belts will be moving constant with no gaps if the belt's full. Anyway, smart. M MK Napham? Yes. That is that is a good call. Okay. That makes sense. So, so what, what they're talking about is when the train is in the station, the belts, the, the unload belts will stop. So they'll, they'll literally not go anymore. Um, while the train's in the station unloading, and then it'll pick up once they leave. So this, you're filling this up, and so you're always getting stuff out of here. You're pulling stuff from here instead of the train station. So if this is more full than the, you know, and the train goes by, it'll keep pulling out even though there's a train. So that that's actually smart. Smart, smart, smart. Okay. So now, this is where it gets a bit wonky. You know what? Should I just get silly with it? Yeah, let's get silly with it. Let's go let's go plug in the other locations, the other train stations, just so we can start having stuff popping into here, okay? Just in the two we've already been to. Um So I'm gonna I'm gonna hijack this train. Come here. Come here. 
Come on around. Who are you? You're Gain. All right, Gain, come here. driving. I'll tell you what to do. What train is this? I should really, like, color them to tell them apart. And also, I have no, uh, no freight cars in these guys, so I'm gonna have to put some on some of the things. Chugga chugga. What is the purpose of the poles? These the, the poles with the lights on them? So those are block signals. So basically what that means is when a train sees a green light, that means it can go forward. If the train is red, or if the, if the signal is red, that means there is a train in the path. It's basically in the next block, and the train will not proceed. The train will not proceed if the light is red. So for example, right now, there's a train right there in that path, so this is red. So if another train on self-driving comes blowing through this way, it'll stop because that's red because there's a train there. It basically prevents um, collisions from happening is what, is what that is all about. What it is all about. Okay, so now we're over here. This one is lit up, so we want Crystal City Exports. So this is a loading station. So load, all right, cool. So now... We are, yeah, I said it, we are. I didn't even think to check to make sure I had enough stuff on I me. Mean, I'm glad I do. Okay. All right, so these are all imports. And there. Now let's go figure out what this mess of a station looks like underneath here. This might be a bit rough. We'll see. All right, so we've got circuit boards. Okay, so it's not not too bad. We can we can use this for now and rework it later. So a bit gross, but that's all right. So am I. Okay. So we can do All right, so let's just let's get stuff over here. Figure out how to sort it. All right, so we got Those mark 3. Plenty of Mark III, okay. Okay. We've got heavy modular frames working their way over there. Mark III as well. Alright, we got our. What happened there? Okay. Uh, these are our circuit boards. Oh. 
Not entirely what I meant to do, but whatevs. Eh, too close. Alright, whatever. Alright, again, we will, we will clean this up later. It's all good. Okay. I did that one off, whatever. I don't care. Okay. So, let's have... For my own sanity right now, let's just have one line going in. This is all just input anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Closer than I thought it would be. Oh, man. I just went off. What? Screw it. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll deal with that later. I'll, I'll pretty all this up later. Don't you worry. I'll make it look nice at some point. We'll get there. We'll get there, you guys. This is the fiddly stuff that I don't want to bug you guys with because I will spend way too much time cleaning this up and making it look nice, so you don't have to worry about it. But I will, and I won't be able to sleep tonight because I'll be thinking of this. Ugh. Does Jack talk to his chat yet? No, I don't. I totally don't. I ignore chat like crazy. All right. These are going. These are all filling up. Oh, you know what? I have to get... Well, crystal oscillators are in this building, so I have to feed them from there all the way over to here. So we'll deal with that in the future. And also, you know what? I uh, may end up... Uh, using some of these circuit boards here that I'm pumping out quite a few. Uh, I may end up taking some of these and combining them with the crystal oscillators and making computers as well and shipping those off so I could have computers being built out here as well. So that's a whole thing. All right, sweet. Oops, that's not where I want to go. Yeah, Cooper, just push that microphone wherever you want. Whatever, wherever you think is best. Sure. Okay. So this is set up. So... Crystals... Okay, so Crystal City Exports now has stuff getting into it. It has quartz, has computer things... 
It has heavy modular frames over there. So those are all incoming now. All right, that's good. So these are all incoming. Let's go on to Oilberg. We are talking to someone who spends upwards of three hours decorating houses in Skyrim. <laughs> well, yeah. I get that. I get that. I got Reamer Cooper. I have Reamer's name tag on though. I gotta sort this angle out right there. Alright, so here for example, you'll see there's Ellie, the other train, stuck on the track. Because Oilberg currently does not have power. So see how this thing is red? If this was auto driving, it would have block stopped anyway. It would have been like, well, nope, and not done anything. So, um, Oilberg, oh look. Oh, there's no power, that's why it's stuck here. Again. Oh, excuse you, sir. Help. Please help. Okay. And you go there. And power you. So now we have power to here. Where is power coming from down there, though? Also, there's my packaged fuel fabric, rubber, and uh, other thing. Plastic. That's what I'm looking for. So there's my four objects. They're going to go over here now instead of over there. So that's not a significantly difficult thing to fix. Like this one thing. Okay, I do need power up here, though. Where would I? Where does one find power? I mean, ours got to be not too far from there. There it is. And with that, I wonder if oil. Oh, did I not? Are you freaking it out? Is Ellie freaking it out because she blocked the path? Okay. Get a turn. I'm confused as to what's what's wrong with this guy. What's wrong with you, buddy? What are you having issues with? All right. Oh, it only has one station to go to. You know what? It's because... We're going to do Oilberg imports. Or actually, we'll do... Oilberg exports, main imports. And then, oh, there it goes. Yeehaw. Oh, and I forgot to uh, do the rest of this. Do I have enough stuff? Oh, I do. I'll be danged. Real quick. There 
There we go. All right, we got our full station up now. That's good. All right, and that one just took off. There it goes. It's happy now. It's happy over there. Cool. Now, let's go ahead and get stuff going up here. Oof. All right, so... Uh, We want just default. Dink, dink. Dink, right there. So that's our main floor. I didn't put any freaking... I didn't put any floor holes down, so I don't know where I'm aiming at. Alright, so we want... Oh, we want our exports, right? So it's actually not terribly far away. Not not super significant. Okay, so exports. Again, I hope I have enough materials. I do. Okay. Look at me getting lucky. So now, Oilberg currently has my exports connected to it. Oh, come on. Y'all see that? Some mad flying skills right there is what that was. seems to be working. And then this will give us room to play with stuff later if we need to, if we need to adjust anything or some logistics up here. We'll have this space up here. All right, so now we need to get under those floors. Here. And again, we'll just do one per for now. I'm going to work for a bit to figure out what's going to be the best solution for the sorting stuff. Because that to me is going to drive me wild. Did I want to turn all these? Face them this way? I guess this one I could face it backwards. Oh, 
this fabric. It's a dead center. Okay. There's fabric taken care of. Fabrics. Fabric fins are gone. Hey, super noob. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate that, buddy. All right, fabric is all going up. That one's good. Then we have package fuel, rubber, and plastic. So let's go ahead and do my rubber. Such a quaint little time when tier three was the highest tier I had. Okay, so this is Oh, that was pure luck. That's what that was right there. Thank you. like that. Alright, beautiful. And last but not least. We got our package, friends. I look straight now, that's off. There it is. Okay, so it's the middle of that guy. There we go. Okay, so they're all receiving stuff now. So, Oilberg exports and Crystal City exports are receiving stuff. Senior Clev, first time actually catching you stream. I followed a bit ago, but never got to catch you. Well, hey, welcome, Senior Clev. You're going to be around to hopefully see my thing work for the first time. Oh, boy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. This guy here, which is Pain... Pain goes to Oilberg and Maine. That's it. Perfect. And who's this? This is Cooper. All right. Let's let's paint Cooper. All right, Cooper. You are gonna go. From main imports out to Crystal City exports. And who is this? This is Ellie. 
Ellie. Let's let's clean you up a little. You're gonna go main imports, obviously. And then you're gonna go to waterfall exports. Alright, I'm gonna ride with you, Ellie. For a bit. At least we'll get back to the main base. Go. Got my path. Look at that. Look at all this. Actually, you know what? Let's stay here. Because theoretically, Payne is about to get Oilberg exports. So this should unload. Want some carriages so they collect something? Yes, I, I will. I just honestly don't have them on me right now, I don't think. Oh, I did. I actually did. I could have put freight. Oh, stupid. Okay. But here we go. You'll see now. Look at that. Getting placed on. Beautiful. This is a full train. This train is going to main imports. So it's going to take all this stuff, drop it off, and then return to Oilberg. Oilberg exports. Grab another batch and come back. Game seemed more refined now than when I last saw him play. Oh, I mean, I, last, I played it last week. <laughs> so... Is this like a community server type deal? No, no, this is just, this is just my server. This is just me for now. We might do some sort of community thing eventually. Maybe once I quote unquote beat this, we'll do something, but. I'm pretty happy right now with how this is working. Okay. Oh, I needed a, a path. Okay, we're good. Look at this glowing red morning. Looks wicked. Yeah, this game. This game, it, it kind of gives what you you want, like gives what you want out of it. It's a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, it's uh, take some time. Take some time. Hey Jack, great to see you learn cricket. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Regard Chris. Thanks, man. I'm not good. I'm not good yet. I need to work on my 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 bowling. I'll get there someday. Yeah, I am. You know what? I haven't really messed at all with power in a while. So I think once one little floating platform out there. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that little platform. Uh, I think once I sort all my my imports and everything and get all this going properly, then that's when um, I'll go through and uh, and rework my power. All right, so main main imports, main exports. So here we go. So this should pull all this stuff off. There we go. And it's taking it beautiful. I have plenty for more freight cars. Once Ellie shows up. There we go. Now it's going to dump that all into the stuff underneath. This next train is riding right, right up on it. Reamer, get out of his, get out of his butt. Alright, so that one. So Payne is off again. To go uh, pick up more from Oilberg. There it goes. Bye, pain. Is this Ellie? This is Ellie. Okay, I can give Ellie uh, some freight cars now. Okay. All right. Turn off self-driving. Okay, 
I want to do transport uh, freight car. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. And so Ellie now. Where did I send Ellie? Oh, waterfall exports. There's nothing out of waterfall exports. Why did I send her there? Okay. Who did I send out? I sent someone. Who are you? Squeak just went sailing by. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's timetable. Okay, pain. Pain's not doing anything. Let's edit, let's edit pain. Pain, you're, you're, okay. Pain, you come to main imports. And then you're gonna go to Oilborg, Oilborg, uh, Crystal City exports. That's what we want. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. What is this? Who is this? This is Cooper. Uh, Cooper, hang on. Hang on. Now, I'm just going to give everyone freight cars. One. Two. Three. Oh, okay, Cooper's going there. Cooper's going to, Cooper's going to go pick up stuff. Okay. Well, I'm glad I gave you that. Okay, well, Cooper's got Cooper's got some freight cars now. Payne might also try to, but Payne's got nothing, so it's okay. All right, so that's good. So let's go take a look over here. So here's some rubber. Fabric. Plastic. And... Package fuel. Okay. You know, if we do... If we do keep it where it's like, they don't all get mixed in. So, like, package fuels only get to end up in this one here. If I can align that up, I can be like, okay, package fuel, you split off this way, and then whatever else will split off another way. That's the way to do it. As long as to the main imports, you don't give me more, give me more than one box for stuff. I think we're good. All right, what's coming in now? Is this more Crystal City or, or is this Crystal City or is this going to be Oilberg? Or is this nothing probably, honestly? Your squeak tearing by. I think that might be the way to do it. Because even... Yeah, yeah, that's what it's going to be, I think. It'll be something like... A smart splitter. Another smart splitter. I'll say a third one just for now, just just to give us room to grow a little bit. A 
So if I do it where... So we say, for example... call this like this one's package fuel so right output package fuel we'll say none for now and then the left would be overflow so then left out of here get anything else yet no probably still getting Still only getting Oilberg stuff. Now we get another stuff. Okay, so circuit boards. Circuit boards is coming out of here. Oh, no. No, that works. That works. Okay, okay. Um, the problem with this is, though... If this is package fuel and this is any, package fuel will go there, but everything else will go there. Including package fuel once this splits. This... What I could do... Okay. So, we unpackage fuel to come out of here. Out of here. Then out of here. What are my options? Any undefined. Oh. Oh. Okay, that works. Works. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that works. Perfect. 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 Any undefined. Come on. And then this is overflow. All right. So that. Ooh, that may work. Because this is the fun. So now this right will be circuit board. Any undefined. And then this will be overflow. That'll be overflow. Look at that. What? Why did circuit boards go out the front of that? Okay, why why did circuit boards kick out of the front there? Like if I grab Oh, okay, now it's not. I guess it didn't have anywhere to go. Okay. All right. And then this is overflow. Ah. Uh -huh. All right, I think that might be our solution, you guys. Okay, okay. Wow, that may that might actually be it. Okay. 
So this one is plastic and quartz crystal. So we'll say, nope. Right is plastic and find overflow. This will be quartz crystal undefined overflow and that'll be nothing yet for example so these all need to feed eventually into a sink I think we're on to something. Okay, all right, all right. Rework my ramp here in a minute. All right. Put a bunch of holes down. Uh, what's up, Master Jericho? How you doing, buddy? got rubber and silica for now so we'll say rubber overflow and silica and overflow okay that one's good Okay, and this guy, we got heavy modular frames and fabric. Come on. All right, so we'll say fabric. Find overflow. And these are heavy modular frames. There, all that goes. Perfect. So now, whoo, all right. And we will say. Now, 
wonder. Industrial store. That's loading up a fabric. And this is going to take a while for all the fabric. There's a lot of it. Okay, well, not much we can do about that. Unfortunately, I gotta figure out what to do with the overflow. Hmm. I might have to rework this a little bit. Instead of just pushing right here, you can literally have the overflow go over there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We merge them. Just push them all onto the holes. Uh, Senior Clev, how long have you been playing this world? Uh, current game, 161 hours, 27 minutes is what we're looking at. So, too long is the answer. Hi, Cooper. Cooper, you need attention again? You're like, hello, my name is Cooper. I'm here just to wreck your things. Feel free to leave. A number... Sit on my mouse. You're this side. Look, there's a free hand. Look at this hand over here. Look, see it? See it? Yeah, come on over here. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. You just can't sit right on my mouse. Love you, buddy, but no. That's, that's where I draw the line. That is where I draw the line. All right. That's, 
not a problem, but I understand why this is panicking right now, because it's got nowhere to go. It's got no place to go. Alright, I'm, I'm actually really happy with the solution here. This worked out really, really well. Okay. Did I have those lines go? Can't afford. I need some materials. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Random day job question. Any thoughts on releasing the annual pass live streams as an audio podcast episode? I drive for a living and listen to listen to annual pass while on the road. Hey, thank you very much, Voodoo. Um, haven't really thought about it to be honest. Um, but doesn't mean we can't do it. I, you know, I'm I'm down for that. If there is a want there, sure, I have no problem doing that. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's a, the, the live streams are very, like very much more visual as compared to the normal stuff. Um, but you know, if you're okay with just listening to it, I don't see an issue there. So. Let's do this just so I can see it. trains up top dropping stuff off okay beautiful for now come on I'm just gonna put a merger up here This will push everything uh, down. The excess stuff. So those are all my... Okay, so hypothetically, logistics are done for this floor.
Okay. So these should all be filling up with stuff now. Cool. So this is filling up. Cool. All right. It'll take a bit of time to kind of sort it out. They are now going. The only thing I'm worried about is there's too much stuff going through. Well, like, for example, like this is stopping anything else from getting through. Power, I think heavy, heavy frames come on here. Heavy modular frames, yeah. So that's not going to get very many. But now, what we can do is look over here. There's four awesome sinks. Actually, keep it four. Come on. Okay. Those awesome things are pretty tall. I don't if I'm not mistaken. Can I destroy this? I can. That's the one thing about my mouse drives me a little bit nuts every now and then. Alright, we're gonna get this going, get the awesome sync going. Okay, awesome sink. I need concrete for it. So, gotta go back anyway. Alright, well, we're almost there. This actually was a very... Might not seem like it, but this was a very, very productive episode. I just... I'm r entirely reworking my import-exports... Uh, set up and I'm I'm very happy with how it's going okay all right let's just do so I get an idea of where I'm curious
Alright, there we go. Here's that guy. Oh no, is this? What are the odds of that? Wow, okay. That worked out spectacularly. Okay, well. Luck be a lady tonight. Okay. So we will go ahead and do that there. All right. Senior Club, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Get some rest. You take care, buddy. All right. With that, now. The excess of stuff. Spitting into these guys. Oh, that's why. I was like, why is my package fuel stopped? It's because the trains at the station. I think. Oh, or it's loading circuit boards right now. Excellent. Okay, silica is starting to fill up now. Looks like fabric is already maxed out. Oof. Make a lot of fabric. Hmm. I wish there was a way you could limit how much stuff gets deposited at train stations. We go down here. We can say this is fabric. I need a smaller sign. Select that. Actually, well, no, maybe not. Okay. All right, so this is heavy modular frames. Beautiful, and this is nothing right now. We'll say doggo. Okay. Everybody gets a doggo. Okay, and so you are circuit boards. 
you are packaged fuel. You are plastic. So rude to say. You are quartz crystal. I think oh, you are silica. Okay, so there we go. We've got our imported items currently going in. So the only thing that we could do to speed up the process is if right now we have both nozzles coming from the train feeding into one buffer. So, what we could do is feed one into like one into one of these guys and another one into another one right next to it, side by side. Side by side. And then essentially do this for both of them. Where So we do this for both of them. So like we we both, you know, basically go through, we split it up, we, we, you know, this line, what would this have to live up here as well? I guess it would. Yeah. Man, how is this game still good? I'm, I'm amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm having a great time playing it. Your name is amazing. Trying to go toot toot. It does. So... Yeah, I think I could do that. I think I could set it up where we have one feeding directly and one into another and essentially do this times two. Where... And then it'll feed underneath. And if I do it right, I could line it up where both nozzles feed into one, one box. This might be this might be something I mess around with. Oh, thank you, uh, Miss Mirz Surfers. This might be something I mess around with offline, where I just have to figure it out once, and once I figure it out, I think I'm good. Yeah. So, Jack, I got to ride in the front of front cab of a historic mail carrier rail vehicle in Knott's last week. That's cool, Raider. And I'm jealous of you, man. Okay. Well, all this being said, I think... Yeah, am I getting stuck? Well, I guess it's going one-to-one. -one. Oh, it's start, starting to hitch a little bit. There it goes. Yeah, it's starting to hitch now. Or was that just me? Was that a graphical issue? Yeah, as soon as it's loading, it's... Yeah, so I think I, I do need to speed up this process. So I think doubling this is going to be the way to go. Which... I think with pushing the overflows away... Like this... Is okay. It may even be something... I wonder if even up at the train station, I have it where it's split up there instead of down here. Although it's, it looks better down here. I mean, I can hide this up there. I, I can't really hide it. But yeah, I think maybe I literally, one of these, I, I push this way and it feeds into a box. Okay, yeah, this, this is going to have to be something I, I, I mess with. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to mess with this off screen. But all that being said... We got storage full of goodies coming in from all over the map now via via train in multiple stations. 
You know what? I think might be the issue. I think I have two trains. I think pain and gain are both going to Oilberg. I think they are. Okay, pain's going to Crystal City. All right, gain is going to Crystal City. Pain is going to Oilberg. Cooper is also going to Crystal City. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you stop going to Crystal City, Cooper. You go over to, you go over to Aluminum. Because I think we're doubling up. All right, Reamer. Reamer's not doing anything. Squeak's not doing anything. Ellie is not doing anything either. Okay. So there we go. So we have... We have six. So pain and gain are main. So pain... Pain does Oilberg. Gain does Crystal City. So now we have one and one. So before we had... We had three. Who is this? This is Ellie. Ellie, what do you have an issues with? Oh, there you go. Okay, bye, Ellie. All right, so Ellie isn't doing anything. Yeah. I think this will help. Ellie has carriages, but nothing to pick up. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's okay. I don't mind having carriages. I'll I'll sort out the 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 pickups and whatnot at some point because. The, the reason why I'm trying to keep all, every station where we have four freight cars. Okay, here comes somebody. Here's Payne. I'm going to drop off stuff. Because I will I will have, you know, like the waterfall station will have like a bunch of stuff and then it will ship it out to elsewhere. It's going to be a whole thing. Has Jack built all of this? Yes. <laughs> John Ma. Yes, he has. Taken this. This is my early starter base over here. And it has expanded significantly. So. Holy heck, yeah. Pretty much. I put a lot of time into this. Whoa. All right, so we're at capacity on this one, it looks like. And there goes Cooper. I think before we had him doing stuff, and now he's he's not doing anything. I think we just took him off of off the uh, the main two, the two that are actually importing something right now. Okay. 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 And that should hopefully help a little bit with logistics. With having instead of instead of having oh he's instead of having. Th two cars doing one of the oil stuff and one doing the court stuff. Now we have one and one, so that should help out a little bit, but yeah, we've already hit capacity on a bunch of this stuff. And you'll see very soon, like, they're still filling up those boxes, but as soon as those boxes start filling, they're going to start pumping stuff out like this, like fabric is going to be pumping out to, uh... Oh, look at that. It's finally almost... Almost reached the other end of it. This fabric is super backed up, and now it's not. Hmm. All right. Well, I am uh, pretty dang happy with all of all of the stuff we've done today we got a lot of work done but i'm going to call it a night right here let's take ourselves our uh, our photo need a good thumbnail photo i'm thinking our train station here right click What am I doing? I thought 
have been great with... I wonder if I can get it... If I can catch the train going by. It's going the other way, of course it is. Hmm. Okay. Like so. Click. There we go. That's not a bad one. I'll take it. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for me tonight. My uh, my goal for these streams is to try to keep it around three hours. This one ran a little bit long. We're at three forty or so right now, but uh, but yeah, I am happy with our progress. And now this is sort of a proof of concept. So now I can start doing things where it's like I have. Uh, oh, what is that Cooper? I think it's Cooper. Yeah, or Cooper. Uh, I can start doing things where it's like, hey, this station, or like I, I build, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's like I build a factory that needs coal quartz crystal and something else i don't know whatever and i can ship it all there from wherever on the map and just send it all over so i think this is pretty rad this is working out pretty well so anyway i'll take it i'll take it right now so i'm whoa that was a weird pop right there so that'll do it for me tonight you save this and uh yeah but i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call it right there thank you so much everyone who, uh, who came out tonight, who, uh, who hung out with me. Again, my goal is going to be start streaming on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, just trying to, you know, get back into a rhythm. Let's see here. Who's still live right now? Who's still up? Who can we throw you guys over to? Uh, let's see. Here. Oh, you know what? Uh, Larry's streaming right now. Turtles and Chill. Kai's playing Valheim. Ooh, that's fun. Man, okay, let's, let's, you know, I think the last time we streamed, I sent you all the Kai, so listen to you over to Larry. So go say hi to Larry for me. It me, Larry. He's a good dude. He's pretty funny. I enjoy watching his stuff. So uh, that's going to do it for me tonight. Thank you very, very much, everyone who tuned in and who popped by. If you randomly stumbled in here, hopefully you will uh, give me a follow. I would appreciate that. If you're following, maybe someday you'll become a warden because the wardens are just the best people on the planet ever. I love each and every one of them. And uh, yeah, and of course, Christian Casavar and Zard, my mods, they make my life so much easier. So mad, mad props to them. So much love over their way. Mr. Snaps, four months in a row. Thank you very much, Mr. Snaps. Sorry I missed that from before. And, uh, and Voodoo, I'm sorry I missed that from before as well. Appreciate that. Two months, appreciate you. So that'll do it. I love you guys. If you're out there, please take care of yourself. And if you have the means to take care of each other too, let's make this planet the best one we possibly can. So that'll do it for me tonight. Love you. Check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jack Patillo. That's where I put all of my archives. If you want to go watch in my previous stuff and uh, that'll do it next stream Thursday. Ideally we'll see. I have therapy that afternoon, but usually afterwards I think we're good. So anyway, that'll do it. Love y'all. Take care. I'll see you soon. And remember, as always, by the power of the beard, we are bonded. That's the thing that I say. Good night, everyone. Bye. Say hi to Larry. Bye.